All right, it is windy, ugly, breezy, nasty day. So optimal weather for testing a high speed oscillation on these motors. This is my uh, X700 frame. Um, I think it was a uh, G, I forget the model. GT something, G something. I'll list it later if anybody really wants to know. Um, I recently moved my antennas to the top. Uh, using this trick that I saw for the FPV racers where you use um, two zip ties and a heat shrink to hold up the antenna straight so I don't have to keep shoving it all the places. Um, I changed my PI settings again. Uh, hopefully these are the most optimal. I wanted to test it. It's been two days and it's just been ugly outside. So we're just going to test it like this. <laughs> Not going to wait till the day gets pretty. All right, this is the KK 2.15 and it's running uh, the latest patch 1.6. Um, okay, I'll list on the screen my, um, hi, my PI settings and my hover settings, uh, my stabilized setting, whatever you call this thing, and get your feedback on it. All right, let's wire this thing up. And we should see the oscillation, I mean, really bad. All right, there we go. And I also got our voltmeter set up as well. And we're nice and flat. All right, here we go. Let's put on my uh, self-level. We're on. Armed up. It should wind up now at like the second I move up the stick. Beautiful. Alright, here we go. I already see at the beginning a little bit of a vibration on this one. And a lot more work on that one. So we'll see as we crank it up. It evens out. Ah, not too bad. For an ugly day. Ah, I guess my last settings end up working pretty good. I mean, besides the pull, I got it to the right, which is a little normal. Keep in mind, I don't have my camera here, so the, the trims will be a little off. All right, right there, I'm at 62%. It's hovering pretty decent, not like yesterday. Let me get to the street here. Wow, and it's windy. I guess these are the optimal PI settings here. Cool. Awesome. I don't have to land and adjust. Let me just trim instead. Not bad at all. Okay, I see a slight oscillation, but hey, what a nice gimbal. I'm happy with that. And it is windy out here. When I tell you it's windy, it's windy. <laughs> so this is doing pretty cool in the wind. All right, let me let it go. Obviously the breeze is gonna take it all over the place. I see a, uh, I mean a really bad dip forward, like leaning forward a lot. Could just be it's fighting the wind, but I see a lot of lean forward. Man, I'm happy with the drift on this thing. Let me do a slight adjustment here on the trim. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be my good, a good windy day flyer here. Battery is on there. It's a single, uh, three cell. 6600 milliamp battery. I'm just shoving it around, trying to see the reaction on it. All right, I'm gonna yank it pretty hard. I'm gonna see how it behaves. Nice, nice. Oh man, I love the reaction on it. Look at that, let me see sideways. 
Nice. It's smooth, but at the same time, it reacts very well. And again, I'm jerking it around because it's windy. I want to see if, if I can fight the wind. Woo! Look at that breeze hit it hard. It wobbled a little bit, a slight oscillation, but you know, it's it's like I said, with a decent gimbal in there. The only thing I see is on the um, on the yaw, getting a little bit of a woo. <laughs> Man, when that breeze hits, it's no joke. Look at that, it's pretty smooth when it moves. I do got a slight pitch forward. All right, come on. Behave. I know it's windy, but you're big and you're tough. You can take it. All right. Let's try to keep it still with this wind instead of flying around. Let's see what we can do. And look, look at that tree moving. And it's doing awesome for that tree being like that. And it's fighting. Now these are only uh, 10 inch props. So this would have had the larger props, uh, maybe 11.2s or 11.4s. Probably behave a little better. But with these motors, I wouldn't go any bigger on those props. That was a hard breeze. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it's in a small little storm out here and this thing's doing awesome. Awesome meaning it hasn't crashed yet. <laughs> uh. Yeah, like I said, very slight oscillation, but with the amount of wind that's on here, I'm expecting that. Man, the fact that I can fly with this thing in this bad wind. Yeah, I might convert this to a FPV flyer and just have some fun. Ah, look at that breeze! Woo! Yeah, okay, I got the hover. Yesterday I tried this and I was having a, with the wind, I was having a hover like at 72, 80%, which was nuts. Now it's holding at 65. So it means that no wind it should be. Look at that. Oh man, I love it. Ah, okay. I'm going to share this uh, setting for the KK 2.1 for a hexacopter that I have. Hopefully others will like it. It's pretty smooth, pretty nice, it's pretty reactive. It's, it's a good balance between smooth flying and be able to bank and move hard when you need to. So, kind of happy with that. Okay, the breeze stopped for a second, look how smooth that is. Nice. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. I don't want to smash into that tree. I like how we've been flying. Supposedly, I got another three minutes. Well, this setting is for the dual battery. I don't know how long I'm going to have on a single battery. And with this wind, it shouldn't be too long. Look at that. I'm not even holding the control. Look at that. It's just drifting on his own back. <laughs> God, I love that drift setting. You just pitch it forward and let it, let it go by itself and the camera does the work for you. It's nice. I mean, it, it holds very well when you angle it and you just want to continue that same uh, position. Uh-oh. Woo! <laughs> this wind is a trip. Oh, man, I'm having too much fun with this thing today. Alright, come on. So I give it a I give it a point, I let it drift and it just keeps going in that same position. So I hold it back, point it forward gently, and just let it go, you see? And it's doing exactly what I want it to do. Continue in the same position that I gave it in the same the same command. See sideways drift, continue. I pull back a little bit. Slightly forward. And it's breezy, so it's awesome. Yeah, the only thing I gotta adjust a little bit is that y'all it keeps kind of like twisting but I really think it's twisting because of the wind so I, I can't adjust anything till we'll have a smooth day yeah this is good for fighting against the wind 
that single battery is lasting pretty good. Obviously with a heavier camera and a gimbal, it won't last as long, but before I start slapping gimbals and putting stuff, I need to make sure that it's perfect. The little beeper that I have on there is the new one from Hobby King. It's a tester beeper and it has a pretty big LED that you can see from far away, which I kind of like. Um, another good feature of that little um, tester is that you can control exactly where you want it to beep. If you don't want it to do 3.7, you can do 3.5 or in my case 3.55. Okay, that's the first warning that one of the cells is under 3.55. And it should beep again when the second cell hits 3.55. And then a non-stop beep is pretty much all cells. So when this thing first gives you the warning, you know you got about a good minute or two to come down. When it starts beeping non-stop, we have all cells. And that's like, hey buddy, you're gonna go under. So bring it down. Second cell. Oh, and there goes my nine minutes. Awesome. Look at that. I hit my nine minute mark. Let me safe. I hit my nine minute mark and my battery went out. And the motors should be blistering hot, so I'm even gonna touch these things. Let me see my ESCs. Ah, oh, they're warm, but they're good. These motors get really hot really fast. But since it's so breezy, it should be good. And then the heat sinks will help a little bit of the dissipation of that heat. Not bad, actually this is very good that I got nine minutes from a single battery with this breeze on this guy. I'm good and I'm, I'm happy. All right guys, I'm gonna share all my settings for you. Um, my board says 11.7. And this guy says what? Come on. 11.1. .1. So this is obviously a, lot, a little more uh, detailed than the onboard. The onboard didn't never went off. So obviously what I need to do on the onboard is lower the uh, or raise the warning uh, voltage. So that way it goes off sooner. So all right. Uh, this is my X700, uh, I think it's ATG, the frame that I'm using. The board on here again is the Hobby King KK2.15 um, with the patch 1.6. Uh, now it came factory 1.6, I didn't patch it myself. I know a lot of people after patching uh, 1.6 have had some issues and some problems. Battery on here is a 3 volt, 11.1 uh, volt three cell uh, 6600 milliamp it works very well with this It's balanced very well and it fits I mean when I tell you it fits perfect it fits perfect in here I don't have to rig anything uh, these motors are actually spare motors that I have from a Wakara um, X350 Pro uh, these motors are only I think something like 15 amps only so I definitely got to put bigger motors on here, you know, and taller, stronger motors, which that'll be my next step. I might put some DJI's on here or something. Uh, these are Samek, um Simon K uh, 20 amp um, ESCs, which are awesome. I mean, I've never had any issues on them. Uh, this board obviously doesn't take full advantage of this, the Simon K's yet. Eventually, depending how this flies, if I'm happy the way it's going, I might go with a micro APM or even with the open pilot maybe the revolution I don't know or I might just leave it like this I mean it's flying good it's flying smooth you know um, it's probably be great just to slap a camera fly around has you know do some stunts play with it you know um, as for FPV and just playing around I, you know I, I do got my my 700 I mean my um, my 250 racers that that's good for so again if he's behaving that well and um, now that I'm happy, my next step will be to invest on bigger motors on this and maybe the larger props, you know, go with the, I mean, I can do all the way to 14 inches on this thing, maybe even 15, but I don't think I'm going to take it that high. I might just go to uh, uh, 11 or 12 and just go with the uh, bigger, taller motors and go from there. I mean, with the, I know with the new DJI motors, uh, the taller ones, I don't even have to worry about the heat sinks because they don't heat up as much. So, all right. 
I'll share my settings. I'll share what I have. Let me see. I doubt you'll be able to see it on the screen, so I'm going to put it up on the video itself. But just in case you can't see it, there's my settings right there. My P gain is at 100. My P limit is at 100. My I gain is at 50. And my A limit is at 20. And let me go ahead and change it to... Obviously, L, uh, L, um, the pitch and the row is the same. And my yaw, I have it at P gain 40, P limit 20, I gain 40, I limit 20. And let me go ahead and go down to my self level. I have my self level P gain at 45, my P limit at 35. And I have no trims on my rows and pitch. On purpose because uh, I'm not gonna set that towards there's a, like a super crazy calm day and then I'll adjust it be, um, with my camera in place all right there we go